Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I want to thank you for joining me here another day. Now, with that being said, I want to encourage you. Every day, I want to encourage you because you know what? I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. Ooh, my little thing is falling. I'm encouraged to live out in what God has called me to do. And that's what I want to share with you today. God said, you will not stumble. He said, you will not stumble. You will not fall. And if you do stumble, you will not hurt your foot. You will not die where you are. Because let me tell you something. In transition, when you're moving from one level of, say, a business, say you you going from one business to the next and you're trying to figure everything out and you know that God has called you to move out on his word. And but but you're thinking to yourself, but I'm not seeing anything. I'm, I'm, I don't understand. God called me, but yet I'm not seeing it. God is saying. No, I got you. I know exactly what I'm doing with you. I know exactly what I'm doing with you. I will not fail you because it is me who called you to this. And because I called you to this, you will not fail. You can't fail because I'm in you. And as long as you listen to me, as long as you allow me to guide you, allow my words to speak the loudest in your ears, allow the visual that I place in you to be the only visual that is a standard in your life, my visual, my vision, my words are the only standard in your life. You cannot fail. You will not fail because in the middle of you, in the core of you, in the center of you, there is my presence. And the angels go out and do what I have called them to do in your life. Don't, don't, don't diminish you. Don't diminish you based on where you are and who you're around. Get out from amongst them. Get out away from those people. Remember when God called Abraham? He gave Abraham a very, 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 very big vision. He said, for as far as you can see, that's what I'm going to give you. He told Abraham, but I need for you to get out from amongst them. What's get out from among them? Get out from among the old way of thinking because your environment the, the, the mentality, the friends, the family, and I'm not saying that you need to leave them. Maybe there are some that you need to leave, but you have to understand the, the season that you're in, the moment that you're in in your life. You've got to leave that alone. He said, get, I can't talk to you. Honestly, that's what God is saying. I can't talk to you. I can't be the standard in your life. If you're still in that environment, I need for you to step out of that environment so that my vision in you, my words in you, my power in you will keep you strong, will keep you in a place of peace, keep you in a place of joy and mostly keep you focused on what I've given you and trusting in me, in you, that what I've shown you. Is you already that you are already there, that these things have already happened in your life. I just need for you to trust the process. So that way I can get you to that place so you can operate in it. The oil, the anointing, it flows freely in activation. It flows freely in activation. The oil is powerful. God said, I anoint your head with oil in the presence of your enemies. Meaning no matter what's going on around you, no matter what. And the naysayers and the talkers, it can't stop the flow. Only you can stop the flow. And you don't want to stop the flow. So whatever has been a standard in your mind, of how things are done, remove it. Get out from amongst them. Get away from that environment 
that does not speak the God principles. If it doesn't speak from the word, move away from it. You have destiny. Destiny is calling. Don't allow it to drag you down anymore. Don't settle for no when yes is available. And yes is screaming at you. So that's what I wanted to share with you this morning. Join me tonight as um, I, I'm doing a series called 21 Day Journey to Yes. Saying yes to your life. Saying yes to what God has called you. God has shown you a vision. He has given you a vision. And he's calling you because the window is open. The window is open and he wants you to accomplish what he has shown you. And when God calls us, it takes us a minute to grasp that because we're still hanging on to the old. So what I want to say, I want to help you unpack the yes in your life and get up your strength, get up your faith that you may be able to go out and operate and function in the oil and anointing that's in your life. So join me tonight, nine o'clock on YouTube. I'll be there on YouTube. And um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you and all that you set your hand to this day. Bye-bye.